All right, Hasses. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a practical example of a really common vulnerability that people have on their servers, and that's how to crack an FTP password. So in the last tutorial we saw whenever we scanned that server that they had FTP, and by the way, you should never use FTP, but uh, this server, they have that port open. Now, since it's open, that means that if they can log into it, then <laughs> we can log into it. So let me clear out there and check this out. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna search FTP and you can just search that keyword right there and it's gonna give you a bunch of exploits related to FTP. But I actually know that I'm looking for FTP login. So this is gonna pull up this exploit right here and it's FTP authentication scanner. So let me copy this and I just want some more info about it. And all right, so what is this module? It lets you, this is what I'm reading by the way. This module will test FTP logins on a range of machine, but we're only gonna be testing one, not a big deal. And we're basically gonna be giving it a bunch of different passwords and we're just gonna run through them all. And whenever it, one works, then it's gonna say, dun, 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 there you go, those are the credentials. So let me clear out of there. And all right, that exploit looks pretty cool. So I'm just gonna write use FTP login. And all right, so what info do you need to work? So show options, hit enter, and holy, holy, sweet moly, what's going on here? So it gives us a bunch of information that it, um, you know, it doesn't need all of these, but this is the other stuff that you can put in. Now, this is what I was talking about in the last tutorial. You see how it says that a lot of these parameters, they aren't required, but they're optional. So for example, if you were testing one of these things, then you could add it. If not, then you don't need to. I'll show you guys the information, information that you actually do need. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to set our host, and that's just the IP address of the server that you want to test. Now remember, mine was 45.55.248.208. All right. Now another thing that you want to do is you just want to set the threads. So this is pretty much up to you how fast or how many multiple processes do you want running at a time. I'm just going to bump it up to 30. I don't even know what the default was. I think it was like 25 or something. But uh, yeah, it just runs a little bit faster the more you have. And another thing that you can do is you can actually set the username to root. Now what you can do is if you don't know the username or you think that they have a different username, then you can add, um, you can actually scan through a list of files. Let me show you guys something. So if I go to usernames, you can like scan through a bunch of different usernames, like I'm gonna try root, then admin, then test, then guest, then info, yada yada, all those ones. But I'm just gonna try one username in this case. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through a list of passwords. So I'm gonna look for root. I assume that that's the username. And I'm gonna try every one of these passwords. So that password list that I have right here, you can get on my GitHub page, link below or there's a bunch of different password lists that you can find online. But uh, yeah, password lists are definitely a handy thing to have whenever you're penetration testing. But for right now, I'm just gonna set the username is root, hit enter. And the next thing I wanna do is I wanna set that pass underscore file. File boom roasted, all right. So hopefully I can remember the path of that desktop security uh, list passwords top 1000 out text look at that so now let me clear out of here and now let me show options again and all right so by the way this usually doesn't look as jumbled as it does right now i just had to like i said bump up the text a lot so it displays, so you guys can actually read it on uh, YouTube, but it's usually a little bit neater, if you guys couldn't tell. So now that we have everything set, all we need to do is write exploit and hit enter. So what this does is it's gonna go through and it's gonna start trying to log in. So the password is gonna be root for everyone, and now it's trying 
or excuse me, the username's gonna be root, and then it's gonna try this password, one, two, three, four, five, six. What about the password password? What about the password this? What about the password query? Boom, 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 there you go. Now, I don't feel like sitting here and waiting, and I'm sure you guys don't, so if you ever wanna stop it, you can hold down Control C, but if you're actually running this attack, then you would, you know, of course, wanna let it run, but there you go, and whenever it hits one that's correct, then it's gonna pop up as green, I believe, and it's gonna say correct, and then the tool is gonna to stop for you. So what you could do is just let this run before you go to bed and wake up in the morning, and boom, you got you got the password. But let me clear out of there, and that's all there is to that. So again, make sure you have a nice, long password list. Uh, sometimes it takes a little bit of time, so you may wanna do it before you go out to eat or go, out to, or go to bed, whatever. But that is that tool of how to find the FTP login for a server if they have the FTP port open. So in the next tutorial, I'll show you guys an example of something else cool that you can do. What it is, I don't know. Don't really plan these things out. But there you go. Thank you guys for watching. I will smell you next time.